Monica from Boston, Massachusetts. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What's going on? How can I help you? So I, I want to ask you a question. I'm sorry I, I called you last week to ask about it, but I just want to be a little bit more specific. Sure. So um, I have to apply for my husband's AOS, and I'm a U.S. citizen. Right. But I also applied for a job, and most likely by the end of March, I will know about my job, and I will know whether I will continue to live in Massachusetts or if I will move to another state, which will be around June or July. So do you suggest should I apply for his AOS right now, or should I wait for June or July so that things will get more clear? No, file now, because June or July... Uh, could be July 31st and we're in February so that's March April May June you're telling you're saying to delay the case five months right. okay because in five months he'll have his work permit he'll be able to help support the family the household right so file now and okay. in five months if you happen to leave and move somewhere else you would mm -hmm. you would do a change of address and change your change your application now ultimately what do you gain by filing now? You gain that he gets his work permit a lot faster. What do you lose? Nothing. Why? Because let's assume you file now and you move. If you mm -hmm. file now and move, wherever you move to, yes, the application goes to the end of the line. It's as if you filed in July. It would be in the same exact spot as if you held off and filed in July. Right. So it makes no sense to wait. If you were telling me you were going to move in two, three weeks, I'd say, yeah, wait. So, you know, you don't have to transfer files. But, okay. but in this particular case, five months, but you should absolutely file. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. You got it? Yes, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Let's go to Angela in West Palm Beach, Florida. Angela. Angela. Yes, good, Hi, how are good you? night, lawyer. How you doing? I am doing well. Um, it's so nice uh, listening to your program. I follow you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. I have two questions here. I got arrested uh, in 20... Uh, I got my green card in two, 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 2009. In 2010, I got arrested for domestic violence. My husband and I, you know, we have a fight and right, right. I got locked up. All right. During that time, I got my two years, two years green card. After it was uh, expired, uh, I, I got my, t I, I didn't get my tenure. I have to renew the condition and I, uh, and I sent it through to USCIS mm -hmm. and for, it was a, uh, a prepared that did it for us so okay. they wanted evidence and right, that everything that else. you have a real marriage yes okay. um, did you did you remove, then did you we remove divorced did, now anyway okay. did you but remove, anyway did you remove I, the conditions I, yes i removed the condition and they want evidence and they submit me uh my tiny green card okay what is the question Okay, so uh, I have two years left on my green card. I was afraid to file because I know uh, I I don't know what to do. So, all right, so, all right. I so waited. You're, you're, you're concerned about this arrest, about yes. either refiling to renew your ten-year card or filing your citizenship or whatever it may be. So let Correct. me right. okay. So let me ask you a couple of questions. When you yes. say you were arrested for domestic violence. Did you ultimately get convicted of a crime, or was the case dropped? No, I uh, I, I got a lawyer, and he he let me, I guess he do everything. He let me do uh, like I got no contest, change of plea, and adjud adjudicated with held on the first degree. So, which which means that you did you have to do like a class or something yes i did a class i i pay a fine and uh and um okay. so 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 and I, it, I, I don't think here. i don't think you pled no contest because if you pled no contest then you wouldn't get adjudication withheld those are two different concepts so i think i don't know for sure we would have to look but adjudication withheld is a diversion program meaning that the judge says, I'm not going to determine guilt. I'm going to determine no guilt. Just go and do this class 
And if you do this class, I'm going to determine, I'm not going to determine whether you're guilty or not guilty. I'm just going to not make a decision on it. Do this class and I'll drop the charges. Or pay this fine and I'll drop the charges. It's a diversion program. If you went through that type of program, it's not a guilty plea. And the reason it's not a guilty plea is because in the Immigration and Nationality Act, what the law says is to be found guilty of a crime that would make you a deportable alien, domestic violence would be a crime that would make you a deportable alien or a removable alien. You, it, you have to have been found adjudicated guilty either because you pled guilty or because a judge or jury found you guilty and had a punishment, such as a class, a fine, jail, whatever it may be. Here, you had a punishment, but no adjudication of guilt. So as I got, so, so I, I'm doing it based on what you told me. I haven't seen the disposition. I got one year probation, though. Okay, but it was adjudication withheld. Yes. All right. Let's do this and be sure that we're all talking about the same exact thing. All right? Because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Um, let me see your disposition. Hold on one second. I think we should have a consultation. All right? Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.